So let's see how to use these horror effects and transitions pack for Premiere Pro. So once you download this pack, you should get this zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. First open up this Premiere Pro folder. Now first you have to just double click on this Premiere Pro project file to open up inside your Premiere Pro and then resave it. If you don't do that, it will give some assets missing error. So double click on that. Now if you ask it to uh, rename it and save it as a new project, just do that. I'm just going to call this one new. Hit OK. Now once it imported, just press Ctrl and Space to save. Now if I just open up the folder, now as you can see over here, the new project has been saved inside the same project with the new name over here. Now let's open up my previous project. You can open up your project, what you are working on. And now I can import the new project file. So as you can see over here, this is the project file, the new project file. You have to import this inside this project bin. So you can just drag and drop this over here. Now here is the important prompt over here. You have to click on this import entire project and also check this one allow importing duplicate media. These two are important so select it click OK. Now as you can see these three folders will be imported. So this is the edit folder. It has nothing because there is nothing to edit inside like a placeholder or text. So it will be blank. You can delete that if you want. And then this is the final. Over here you will find all of the resolutions. So this is the actual comb which you have to use. And then this is the assets which you can ignore this one. Okay, now let's apply the effects and transitions. So for that, open up this final and open up the proper resolution. So for me, right now I'm working on full HD resolution. If I just go over here, sequence settings, see 1920 1080p. So I have to open up that folder resolution. After that, you will find three different folders. So effects, motion and transitions. So let's quickly go over to the effects. Inside that you will find this long effects and short effects. Long effects are slightly longer than five seconds, seven seconds like so and shorter effects like short hits, like some blur hits, exposure hit, something like that. Now if I just open up this long effects, you have a couple of effects over here. So let me just walk you through over here. So first let me show you how to apply them. So if I just open up this bleeding effect, you will find uh, this bleeding effects over here. So you have to apply them. So here is one more important thing. In order to apply them properly, you have to just click on this icon over here. Insert and override sequence as nested. So you have to deselect it. If you don't deselect it, it will not work. Okay, so you have to deselect it and now you can just drag and drop them and it will work as fine as you can see. So all of the effects and transitions are same in the same way. You have to deselect this, then it will work. So in the same step, you can drag and drop any effects. Let's go some other effects over here like this color grade. You can just add it over here, see? It will add some color grade. It has different kind of color grade. And then you will find this uh, diffuse. Just add it. After that, it has some film roll. If I just add it over here, I'm just going uh, quickly over the effects because there's a lot of effects and cannot be possible to display all of them. And then there's the flicker. The flicker is important over here. As you can see, this is some dark flicker. Like so, and you have some exposure flicker as well. Like so, uh, there is exposure flicker one. So, so there's plenty of things and you have some flip, some abstract effect over here, as you can see. Then if I just go to the next, you have some frames, like so. There's a bunch of frames over here you can apply. After that you will find some grain effects. So this is kind of important. It will add some noise effect on top of the video. And this is the illusion. This is also really interesting, as you can see. So everything is named properly. Lens distortion, light burn. If I just add some light burn over here, like so. And then mirror effect. This is really stylized effect. It will work with some footages. Noise scratch. It has some bright noise scratch as well as some dark noise scratch over here. Soft glow threshold and there is some useful VHS effects. If I just add it, as you can see, it looks so nice. There is 25 different VHS looks. Okay, now if I just close this uh, long effects, go to short effects, open up this blur hit. If I just add it something like that, let me just zoom it a bit and come over here. I'm just gonna randomly add some blur hits over here. Let's open up some exposure hit like so you have to combine all of them to get the effects this is a glitch hit and ghost hit and we just play like that see with this couple of steps it looks so nice over here 
to get the idea about the shortcuts now let's close this and open up the motion okay motion has two effects called long and short let's open up the long over here as you can see it will add some additional motion over here and if I just go and if I just apply this 10 this one is kind of a subtle movement as you can see it's going up and down like earthquake effect and you have some longer effects as you can see this one has more motion to it and with the sort it has some short motions like so you get the idea okay then if I just go to transitions it has a variety of transitions so my favorite ones is jump scare if I just add it like so it has 10 different jump scares so you can add it into your video and then you, you will have some other transitions as well let's go over here I have two footage over here as you can see so let's go to the blur and add over here something like that it will have a uh, junction over here like so and let's add another one like so let's go to the flicker I guess go over here and then let's go to the coast shake see so you have plenty of useful transitions over here which you can use so with this step you can easily create your good looking documentary with horror or suspense films so that's it for this tutorial i hope this video helped